So, sister, you are now the new host of my show. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. I wonder how you're going to cope with all this. It's not that new to me. I used to be a TV reporter as well as a TV host, don't you remember? Of course I remember. But how about you? I think I remember enough to do my job very well. I suppose you're rooting for me like a good sister, right? Or are you afraid I might become a better host than you were? The only thing I'm afraid of is... you making a fool of yourself. And I won't stop you. I hate that bitch. So she comes up to me and says, Let's have a glass of wine together. Mm-hmm. And then? Well, I sorta... <sighs> I got confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can imagine the look you gave her. What a bitch. So what happened after that? My she fortress is my show. I invented something. it. I created it. Single-handedly. And now she's going to enjoy her glory on TV instead of me? How did she beat me at my own game? And that Victor... That bastard keeps blackmailing me. Where am I supposed to get all this money from? Where? I'm not telling you any details whatsoever. You know, you don't have to. I don't want to know anything about your cougars. Hey, she wasn't a cougar. Can you two shut the hell up? Anna, why are you so mean? We're working too. I can see that. You don't like femme fatales either, do you? I'm working on an important project. And you know that. We've just discussed it. You know how much work I have over here. Please kindly shut up and let me work. Let me help you. Tell me what to do. Find the file on the event. The one Lesha was talking about. Uh, which event? The concert at the lake. Oh. Right, you'll have it in a minute. You told me that you didn't like hosting shows. Can't I change my mind? Are you trying to get revenge on your sister? Why not? Don't I have a right? She stole everything. My face, my name, the man I loved. She stole my life. I know how you feel, but revenge won't make you happier. You'll just become a monster, just like Yana. Are you saying I should forgive her? Gosh, that's not it. I wanted revenge too. I was planning it, toying with some ideas, organizing things and strategizing. I was thinking about what I should do. Mm -hmm. And you did nothing. Yes, I did nothing. Yeah. But I had a reason for that. You. I got to know you and started liking you. And finally, I fell in love with you. Anna, I fell in love with you. I realized that I could live without her in my life. I can't go back in time anyway. So it's all in the past now, Anna. I will make you happy. I'll do anything for you. Am I supposed to live like nothing happened? Let's go away and live together, wherever you want. A new start. We used to love each other very much. I still love you, Anna. Andrei, no. But why? Why can't you forgive me? Will you ever forgive me? Who am I to you? Saint Anna? No. Am I supposed to forgive everyone's backstabbing? No. You knew what Yana did and you didn't say a word. I'm a coward. I know that. I'm sorry. I was scared. She threatened she'd 
kill herself, and I really believed her. I was too scared to tell you because I thought I would lose you, completely. You lost me anyway. I know. Please. I'm begging you. Andri. I... I forgive you. Because you were there for me when I was going through hard times. But I'm not going anywhere with you. And that's the end of this subject, all right? I understand. Thank you. But if we aren't... staying together, why should I stay silent? I'll tell... everyone who... The so-called Anna Drobovolsky really is. You had your chance and you didn't use it. So now it's my turn to decide how I will punish Yana. Goodbye. I'm glad you agreed to have lunch with me. It might not be the fanciest place, but at least it's cozy. The food is good and it's close to work. Did you like it? No. Vadim, it's not that. I just think that we shouldn't see each other so often, especially during the work hours. I don't get it. I don't want to attract attention. People have been talking. Really? What do they say? That we are dating. What if we are? It's not a crime, and we aren't kids. When people like each other, they want to spend some of their time together. Wait. <clears throat> what if I misread you? What if you don't want to see me because you don't like me? No. You're a good man, interesting to talk to, smart, with a good sense of humor, a great colleague. But you don't like me. That's not what I mean. What do you mean, then? The thing is, I'm not for office romances. It's just not doable. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. Just admit it, that it's not what this is all about. It's because we're not equals. You're a millionaire's daughter. A TV channel owner, and who am I? A nobody, a loser, with no money, in the bank. What can I offer a woman like you? That's not true. Carolina, stop. It's okay. You just wanted to let me down gently. This is your excuse. It's not an excuse. Of course. <sighs> Vadim, I wasn't trying to hurt you. It's okay. You got it all wrong, Vadim. That's not what I said. Carolina, it's okay. You said what you wanted to say. I heard you. I won't bother you again. <sighs> I'm such a fool. I know how you feel. But revenge won't make you happier. You'll just become a monster, exactly like Yana. You're wrong, Andri. My sister deserves to be punished. I'll punish her. I'll take back everything she stole from me. Come in, please. Hello. Oh, coffee. There are only two cups, though. Didn't Dennis tell you I was here? Sorry, it slipped my mind. And I didn't tell you because I thought that Dennis would? It's fine. Please help yourself. Uh, what about you, Yana? I've had a cup. Thank you. 
I don't know how people can live without coffee. Why wake up in the morning if not for this glorious smell and taste? I agree. Life without coffee is utterly pointless. <sighs> Yana, you know, even though it was you who came up with this brilliant project, Alessia and I will take it from here. Why is that? I thought she was working on a different one. I do not owe you an explanation. Okay. Um... What will I do? I can just idly sit back. Um, you're going to work on our department's report and arrange the paperwork, just organize them. All right, I'll get to it. Bye-bye. Thanks for the coffee. Good day. Is this the music rental shop? I'm Anna Dobrovolsky, Cherkasi Silicat Bud. Would you mind sending me your price list, please? Thank you, that's great. I'll send you my email address by text message. By fax? No problem. Do you have our number? Uh huh. Vadim, you're a good man. Interesting to talk to. Smart, with a good sense of humor. A great colleague. Whew, I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't have rushed it. I should have had a normal conversation with her. My mother was right. I don't know how to talk to women. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. <clears throat> Hi. I'm sorry, Karolina Rivarivna. What can I do for you? Just Karolina. I'm here on important business. I came here to say that I like you. Believe me, it's true. If it is, then... Why do you care about gossip? People will always talk, especially about those who are smarter and more successful than them. Is there any other reason? Yes, there is. My work is my top priority, that's it. You mean you can't cook, lean, and cross-stitch? I could live with that. There is more to that. You don't like shopping? <laughs> I like being the boss. Maybe that's the reason why I like you. I like women who know what they want. And as for the gossip, I'm ready to have a private chat with every gossiper here. She came home so devastated. It's so unlike her. Usually, she can't keep her mouth shut. But this time, I didn't hear a single word. Valeria, did you talk to Jana? Did she tell you why she has been so blue lately? Something's terribly wrong. Unfortunately, I couldn't get her to open up to me. But I told her that she could count on us any time. Oh, I call him... Many times a day, but all I get is the subscriber is unavailable message. That bastard must have changed his number. What are you planning to do? I'm going to find him, and I just want to look him in the eye and... Uh-huh. Of course you'll do that, and he'll die of shame. Uh -huh. Even better, he'll fall to his knees and give your money back. Yuba, I'm begging you, please help me. Can you ask Petro? Uh, maybe he has an idea where he is. <sighs> Fine, I will, but I don't think Petro knows where this asshole is, bastard. Yes, please do that. Thank you. Um, please uh, call me as soon as you find something out. Okay. You know what? What? Here's a piece of advice. You get yourself some strong sedatives and say goodbye to your hard-earned money. You think that I will never get it back? Hmm. 
trust me, even if you reported him to the police, they won't do anything for sure. Huh. As they say, don't cry, wave it goodbye. Oh. Delicious. The cookies just melt in your mouth. Uh, thank you. Zana, have you ever thought about opening your very own bakery? Zana! Oh. What's wrong with you? Your hands are shaking. Do you feel sick? Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I just accidentally spilled the tea. Come with me to my room. We need to talk. Jana, what happened? What's wrong? You're disappearing all the time. You're constantly on your phone. What is it? Are you sick? Tell me. Okay, that's good. I know. It's about your love life. Come on, Jana. Say something. Did Hannah dump you? I think that he did. <laughs> he won't return my calls. But that's not all. He... Katarina. I don't know how to say this to you. What? Just please don't yell at me, please. Jana! What is it? Tell me or I'll either kill you or I'll probably die. The bakery. Apparently we don't own it. <laughs> I should tell Petro that Jana was here looking for his friend Hannah. No, I shouldn't say anything. Maybe they're in it together. Of course, he won't admit anything. He isn't any better than Hannah. What happens now? Jana will go to the police. They'll never find Hannah. And Petro will be the scapegoat. I tried to warn him, now let him deal with it by himself. If he doesn't want to be honest with me. Yuba. Where did you go today? What happened to that girl? Curiosity killed the cat. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Wash your hands and let's eat. No thanks, I've had dinner. Mm. With Andri? Who else can it be? <laughs> he can't last a day without her. Why do you think that? Can I have dinner alone or with a friend? Mm -mm. You can't. It was Andri. How is he doing? Good. He's been pretty busy lately, though. He's been working a lot. It's good to have a job that you like, and also one that pays you well. How's it going at work? Good. Does Anna help you? Yes, of course. How could she not? That hen is a, is a professional fraudster. I can't believe he swindled you just like that. And me as well. I'm such an old fool. I had a feeling something bad was about to happen. I told you that you didn't need that bakery. But no, you're a great businesswoman. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You need to toughen up. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry, Katarina, but it was my savings and my dream. Your dream? We should call the police. What do you know about Henna? I know his name and where uh -huh, he lives. Uh -huh. And? I thought he was a decent man. Uh -huh, I thought I found uh -huh, my uh -huh. Mr. Uh -huh. Right. Stop crying. Stop crying. It isn't helping. I just hope the police will find this bastard as soon as possible. What else do you know about the him? The police. What's going to happen? Will they put him in... Will they put him in jail? No. They'll send him on a vacation just for swindling all this money from you. So tell me, what else do you know about this asshole? I, uh, I was at his place the other day. Uh -huh. Well, not exactly his. Uh, he was staying with his friends, uh -huh. and his friend's son said that Hedda went on a business trip. Somehow, I don't think he's coming back from this business trip. I mean, why would he? <laughs> he'll just find another naive idiot oh. like you, and he'll do the same thing. So, what did that man say? 
That friend of Hannah's. I haven't talked to him yet. Oh, has he gone into hiding too? <laughs> uh, no, he was at work. I know where Petro works. Uh, Hannah's friend. I mean, I know where to find him. Tomorrow? We'll go there together. Okay? <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. I do not owe you an explanation. What happened? Why is Dennis acting so cold? It's like he has become a different person. What's going on? You had your chance and you didn't use it. Now it's my turn to decide how I will punish Yana. I will help you. She will pay for this. I promise you she'll pay for all the harm she's done. That's strange. How is it possible? Hello, Carolina. Right now? All right, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. In her reports, Yana only writes the starting and final budget figures, but doesn't give any details. Why? That's really strange. Also, the budget of a recent promo event is way exaggerated. Zana? How have you been? Fine, thank you. You're crying again. What's wrong, dear? I'm just touched by the fact uh, uh, that you all uh, care about me so oh, much. You're such a sensitive lady. What did you say, Mother? Nothing, never mind. Valeria, do you need Jana today? No, why do you ask? I wanted to take her with me to do errands. What kind of errands? Hmm, do you need to know? We're going to the park to get some fresh air. To see what there is to see. Come on now, get ready. Somehow I think Mother already knows about what happened to Zana. Yana, come in. Hello. Have you thought about it? Do you accept my proposal? Are you going to host my fortress? I gave it a lot of thought, and my answer is no. Please take a seat. <clears throat> so why not? Do you think you can't handle it? I told you that you were doing good, and besides, the staff of the show and I are always ready to help you any time. It's not that. What is it then? I like my job at the development department. It's exactly what I need for my self-actualization. <laughs> okay. I understand and respect your decision. Thank you. Honestly, it's a pity. I really do hope you find a great host for your show. <laughs> I hope so, too. But it's not that easy. 
May I go? Yes, sure. Yana? Good luck with your work. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you. Bye. Hey, girls. Let's take a little tea break. Well, there's still a few customers here. Good idea, Petro. That's what I was thinking. Good morning. Hello, Petro. I am so happy that you're here. Hello. Why are you here? I told you that you... You see, I didn't come here alone. Jana, we were going to walk to the restaurant, not fly. But another walk like this and I won't live to see my great-grandchildren. I just... Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Katerina. Hello. Are you... him? The friend of that fraudster, Henna? Lesha, is Anna the one organizing the Dubrovsky holding anniversary concert? Mm-hmm. And is she in charge of the budget as well? That's correct. Was it Anna's idea, or did it just happen that way? I thought that Olena was doing the planning. Usually it's Olena, although Anna believes that in this case she'll do a better job. Mm. Besides, she used to organize all the previous promo events, from the script to the budget, and she's always been really good at that. Mm. Uh, but why Anna? Well, because she's worked here for a long time and people trust her. She's good at that. Why are you so suddenly interested? I just don't understand why Anna took it upon herself to calculate the budget. She has enough on her plate. You know how thorough your sister can be. And you know her passion for control. <laughs> Besides, right. she's qualified enough to do budget calculations. Mm. I see. Thank you, Lesha. Good morning. I'm calling from Cherkasi Silicate Food. Could you please send us a fax of your price list? Yes, I understand, but unfortunately we lost our copy. Could you send it over? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We've got a fax. It's for me. For you? You've just started working here. Who would send you a fax? It's NASA. They're offering me a job. I'm not sure if I should accept. Very funny. So you're saying Petra's friend took your... My name is Anna. He took $20,000 from you and disappeared? Wow, Hannah is a fraudster. Hush, let me listen. That's absolutely right. Olya Valentinivna. Uh, yes, it looks like he doesn't use his old number anymore. Wait, did you lend him the money or... No, like I said, the money was meant for purchasing the premises, right? <laughs> Katarina and I were going to open a bakery there, but... I got the bakery part. Um, did he give you a receipt? No. Uh, you see, but I... But I have the purchase deed. He was playing the role of the mediator for us and the owner. So you do have some papers. Yes, yes, it's here. I showed it to a lawyer the other day, but he told me that it was fake or useless. I don't know what to- Hey, Jana, oh. shut up. Let me do the talking. I'm sorry, Katerina. It's just that I'm so worried sick. And you think I'm not? Yes, Of you course are. I am. It's my money, after all. Katerina, don't worry, all right? We'll try to help you solve this. It's my fault. I let Henna stay with me. I should have kicked him out. I really thought he'd changed. I really did. Petro, wait a minute. Nobody's blaming you. If I didn't believe him, he probably wouldn't have. You know, stayed in Cherkasy and met Zana. Nothing of this would ever have happened. It's okay. We are going to the police. I'm sure they'll find this henna the fraudster very soon, and he'll pay us back every penny. 
Katerina. I know I have no right to ask. But please, don't go. Don't go to the police just yet. I'll pay you back. Where are you going? Wait. Petro, wait, please. I said stop. Petro! So, this isn't the first time. None of the estimates developed by Yana coincide with the actual costs. She's stealing from the company. Well, now I see how she was able to pay off those thugs. I need to look through all of her reports. Liuba, you should have told me instead of trying to find out for yourself if I was in on it with Hen or not. Petro, tell me the truth. Are you part of it? Did you help Henna swindle Jana? Very funny. That's just what I thought. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your support and your trust. You think I'm a fraudster. Today was the first time I heard about it all. I swear. I wish I could trust you, but... Luba, I took money from him. He owed me money. I only took what was mine. If I knew where he got it, I would not have taken it. What are you going to do now? I'll find him and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. He has spent the money by now. You're right. I'm an idiot. I used to take presents from him. Clothes? House appliances? Hey, do you think that we can return all those things? Mm, I don't know. Maybe if you had the receipts, everything would be okay. Receipts? <laughs> I don't think I have the receipts. And so, like I said, that's the situation. Katarina, uh -huh. thank you for giving me all the necessary details, and most of all, thank you for doing it in such a calm manner. Because you know, Zana was. Uh... Oh, I'm Jana, so sorry, Jana, 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 but shut up! I'll handle this. Go on. And so, as I was saying. Yes. No one will find out about this. You have my word. Thank you, thank you. I wouldn't want my family to find out about all this. Rest assured. I can rest assured when they find this bastard. And give me my money back. Now about the case. You have to go to the police station and file a complaint or a report. And you, Zana Vasilivna, have to give them every detail on how and when you met this man, his description, his name, and everything you know about him, his hobbies, his plans. Um, what for? To make it easier for the police to find him. For instance, if he mentioned that he frequented the casino, the police would know where to find him. No, no, he didn't mention a casino. Aren't they banned by law? Indeed they are. It is illegal. But the underworld finds ways to open such places undercover for people like you or Hennedy. Oh, he isn't mine. Of course, back to business. Oh, yes, Jana, it was just an example. Don't you understand what that means? Attorney, please go on. If you decide to sue him, just call me and I will help. Thank you. Well, how long will they lock him up? John, what kind of language is this? I'm so sorry, Mr. Attorney. What will the sentence be? At least three years in prison. Mm hmm. Hmm? Liuba? What will happen to Petro? What do you mean? 
About the mess he's in. Petro is innocent. Hannah swindled Jana. Right, but you said that Petro took a big amount of money from Hannah. No, he simply paid back what he already owed Petro. That's a funny way to pay your debts, though. Petro didn't know where it came from. He wouldn't have taken it if he knew. He could have figured it out. He's known Hannah for years. Petro is kind and sincere. Uh huh. And now he's suffering because of that. Letting this fraudster Hannah into the house where his kid lives. <sighs> Petro's son is a big boy. He can stand up for himself. That Hannah guy must have played a poor orphan so that Petro would let him stay with them. I hope they find and put him in jail in no time. Right. Liuba, what if they were in on it together? They'll be making dumplings in jail. Don't you feel sorry for him? And why would I? He should take his redemption. <sighs> I'm sure that he didn't do anything like that, though. I know he's innocent. Yana, are you staying? Yes, I'd like to finish this report today. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Dennis, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Andre. Right now? Mm, okay, tell me where do we meet? Hi, Andre. Hi. Something wrong? Why did you call? I have to talk to you about something important. Yana and Anna. Okay. Andri, hello. Are you at the studio? Can you come to my office? No, I'm not there. I don't think I can come. It's urgent. I can't talk about it to anyone but you. Are you coming? Fine, wait for me. Wait for me, I'll be there. What was it you wanted to talk about? It's a long story, Den. Yana's waiting for me. Let me take a rain check. I promise I'll tell you everything. Give me a preview. There's no preview. I have to go. All right, let's talk some other time. I'll be seeing you at work. Bye. I'm sorry I took so long. I couldn't find a taxi. Are you in trouble? Here, take a look. What's this? I don't know much about marketing. Can you explain what I'm looking at? Very well. My dear sister was in charge of all these events. They all have a bloated budget and it doesn't coincide. You mean she was stealing from her husband's company? Yes. Okay, but why? She's a wealthy woman with a rich husband who tends to her every wish. Besides, it's the Dobrovolsky's company. Why risk it? I'm not quite sure myself, but I want to know why she's doing it. I have an idea. Maybe she has an agreement that she needs the money for. She can't ask Dennis because it's a huge amount, and he would suspect something. She has no choice. I think I know what kind of deal it is, and... with whom? Huh? 
How are things at work? Everything's fine. How's Yana? Getting used to her new position? I don't want to discuss my work or my sister right now. I just asked you a question. What's wrong with that? You know, I feel like there are three people in our bed. You, me, and my sister. Let's not talk about it, honey. Okay, whatever. By the way, I saw Andrew today. Did you talk to him about the concert? Oh, so now there are four of us in the bed. Don't be like this. I'm doing it for you. Mm -hmm. Are you now? I just want you to feel confident at work. You need reliable people for the projects you're working on. Don't you agree? Yes, of course. Did you talk to Andrew? No, he's too busy right now. He doesn't have a minute to spare to talk. I really don't think he can help us with the concert. Remember, he even canceled his wedding with Yana on account of him being too busy. Mm, right, I forgot. I'm sorry. Aren't you gonna read that? Later. What if it's an important message? I'm sick of waiting for my money. I'm not Molly coddling you anymore. What are you gonna do? What do you think? I'll tell everyone about Yana's schemes. It's up to you, of course. But you do understand that it will happen anyway, right? Yana will dig her own grave. I don't want to wait for it to happen. I'll help her dig it. You'll be the one to suffer. Yeah, maybe. I remember what you said. If I take revenge on Yana, it will make me a monster just like her. What if I don't care? I want her to get what she deserves. I don't care what it makes me. Don't say that. Who are you to tell me what to do, huh? You were about to go kill yourself. Why did you stay with me? Huh? Because your precious Yana cheated on you? Aren't you angry? Please don't do no, this. No, let me finish. I was cheated on. It tore me to pieces. Yana took everything from me. My face, everything that I held dear, and you betrayed me too. <laughs> you used me. You betrayed me. Anna. Yes, I'm Anna, not Yana. Every day, I look at myself in the mirror and see her face. I fucking hate it. I want to slash it. Do you know what it feels like? I want to destroy everything around me. I hate mirrors. <sighs> Yana was stealing from the company. Do you know what she was spending it on? No? I'll tell you. She hired some thugs to attack you. You want me to let it go? No. She has to get what she deserves, and she will. I swear. So either stay out of it, or help me. I will help you. <laughs> 